this project, I'll be showing you how to make an Arduino controlled infrared thermometer. It is fully 3D printed and has a built in laser pointer so you can see exactly which object is being measured. I plan to use it to see if motors are overheating or certain components are overheating, but you can also use it around your house to make sure your freezer is working, if you're cooking something to make sure it's at the right temp, and also for a ton of other things. If you guys like these kinds of projects, uh, go ahead and subscribe as I'll be trying to come out with a new video every couple of weeks. And for this project, all you really need is an on off switch, a laser, MLX90614 sensor, a couple of resistors, and OLED display. So this is the circuit that we have. So we have our temp sensor, we have our OLED display, uh, we have our on off switch just coming from our 9 volt battery. We have a pull down resistor for the, our switch that we use as our trigger and then we have our laser with a current limiting resistor. So once I got the circuit working pretty good on a breadboard, then I went ahead and started on the design. So you can see here this is kind of like the main enclosure. Uh, so on the top is just the top cover and then there's a nozzle which will have the laser pointer and the sensor which will both be, both be press fit. Then on the bottom that's where the battery will go and then on the cover, like the battery cover, there's this little slide here which I'll, you'll 3D print a little trigger button and then behind that there's a momentary push button. The one thing that I definitely kind of screwed up on is I didn't leave a whole lot of room in the on the top for the electronics. And also printing it is kind of difficult. Um, that's a pretty big angle where the OLED display is. So I ended up doing support on the build plate but that made the finish not work so great. But anyways, go ahead and send it over to your 3D printer. Solder up all your components. Then go ahead and press fit the laser into your 3D printed nozzle along with the temperature sensor. For that battery cover I was talking about, so you just 3D print your trigger button, you push it in there, and then you put your momentary push button behind it. Then I just used some tape to kind of keep it in place so it didn't move around. Insert your on off switch. Then once you solder up all your components onto there, then go ahead and take your 9 volt battery, insert it into that slot, and then put the cover back on over it. So once you manage to connect everything up together, it looks kind of crazy. Uh, make sure everything still works. And this is kind of where I screwed up. I didn't leave a whole lot of room in that top section for the electronics. So in order to keep the wires kind of in place, I just used some hot glue on the side. I just kind of glued the sides and then I was able to push in uh, the Arduino Nano into that top cover. Then once you have everything in there, then go ahead and place, place your top cover on top. Enjoy your new infrared thermometer. As usual, all the links to all the STLs and all the code for the Arduino can be found in the Instructable that I'll link in the description below. Let me know your comments and thoughts, and thanks for watching.